Oh, hi there. Captain Gujon here. Today we're going to play what has been described as the most incredible, amazing, best game of this year so far. Phenomenal. Big words. Big words been thrown around. And it really is the best. Oh. oh, no, no. We're just playing The Sims 4. Can I make him shorter? No. I can't make him shorter. What the fuck? Well, I'm already incredibly disappointed. I want to start playing. It's going incredibly well. As if you can't make them shorter. What a load of shit. Top right hand corner? Maybe the bottom left. I don't know. Somewhere. But yeah. Just, I'm really disappointed with this game. I love The Sims 3. And I had some good times and Max have just raped the franchise by ruining everything. Everything. And I was asked to play some horror games. So, here you go. Terrifying. So we're going to go roomy with some people. I think. Come on. Yeah, let's, let's move on with the goths. They seem like it would fit in just nicely. Yeah, I do. Nice. Let's do. <laughs> there he is. Let's crack on. Right, Gordon. Sorry. Gurdon. Let's crack on at ruining some lives. You go over here. And... We're going to start strong. Very strong indeed. I think our first part of call is just to make sure that everyone knows who's boss. That's that. And... Perfect. Gordon has a house all to himself. Great stuff. So we got rid of the staircase, and that's one problem solved. Make yourself at home, Gordon. One day, very soon, this is all going to be yours. Let's sell everything. Me and Gordon are about set. He's got a very small need, just like the basics in life. Cold metal floors on his feet, nice plasterboard walls, and a chair that looks directly into the corner of the room. He just is a normal, simple man. And that's what he likes. We're missing one thing. Being a chef, we definitely need to get some kitchen stuff on the go. But what kitchen stuff shall we have? Great stuff. That's the oven sorted. That's exactly what he needs. Just all of those ovens. I need one. He's going to put a little counter in the corner, just so he can prepare his food as well. I just don't feel like that's enough, though. It's just not enough. Yeah, we'll put some more down here as well. We need to make things symmetrical. He's a bit OCD like that. I'm gonna cook some food. Which cooker is he gonna use? That's the question. So many. Oh, he's not even gonna cook. Directly from the fridge. You fucking hobo. Why are you smelling your Cheerios? Okay, look at the textures. Fucking amazing. This doesn't get anything on The Sims 3. Wow, that was a big spoonful. This is shit. Mm, Bella Goth, you're looking better than you used to. Real good. Oh, sorry, anyway. Oh. Fucking iPad douchebag. Oh, see, it's in the oven. That's all I needed, Gordon. You've done half the work. I'll do the rest. Oh, that's perfect. Mm, excellent. This will be the last cake you ever eat. Right, fuck this. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. You're gonna burn, whether you like it or not. You have to wonder if I'm psychotic. The answer is yes, I am indeed. And people, someone has to die. They're gonna fucking starve to death before they burn alive at this rate. Why is this so difficult? I thought the point of Sims was to kill everyone. Is that not the aim of the game? I'm pretty sure this isn't the back of the box. A simulator of life and definitely death by fire. Good lord. Oh, good. I've got an achievement. Fantastic news. There's just cake everywhere. Nobody needs this much cake, Gurdon. I appreciate you're a chef, but it's just wasteful. It's just really wasteful. 
What's wrong? Not enough cake? Too much cake? Too much cake, okay. After last time, I actually rage quit because my game crashed after working so fucking hard to be an evil genius bastard. So I rage quit and that was it. But I reloaded and started again and I've done something beautiful. Just beautiful. You can see the most of it is here. It's just a nice, a nice basic apartment place we've got for uh, for Gurdon. It's got a computer, all the amenities and all that sort of thing. But alongside that, we also have a few other things in place. A giant fucking maze. Holy shit, look at that. And somewhere in here are the goth family. There they are. Hello. You guys look really pissed off. But you'll be okay. You have a toilet. And you know what that'll do for all your eating, drinking needs? Because, you know, if someone needs a shit, you got food. So the point of attack is just kind of release them into the maze and just see how long it takes them to die. Something just nice like that. Let's release the hounds. There we go. Toilet door. Just for you guys. Go nuts. I'm an evil bastard. But look at that. It's fucking awesome. Look how pretty it is. Oh, so happy with the results. If only they'd start goddamn moving the piece of shit game. Jesus. Oh, young Alexander's in there somewhere. Can't quite see them. Not ideal. Where is he? There he is. Hi, hi. You alright? You're lost now, aren't you? Shame. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here while Gurdon watches I'm a shit video game, get me out of here. It's a chef program. Of course it is. What a hero. This has been Sims 4. It's a big bag of gash. If you like this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do. And until next time, Captain Goujon, out.